Right now, we're going to go to reporter Kim Kalunian, who has an update on how this might be affecting the Situate Arts Festival. It's Kim. Well, Pete, good afternoon. Obviously going to be a big weekend for people to head outside, including right here in North Situate. The Situate Art Festival is always a huge draw. And the folks who are here setting up today say they will not let this weather get in the way of being prepared for folks to arrive on Saturday. Set up underway in North Situate. We expect uh, anywhere between Historically, we've seen about 100,000 people a day. Reggie Centracchio wears many hats, including that of spokesman for the Situate Art Festival Committee, saying despite the nor'easter, they'll be ready for the throngs of festival goers come Saturday. When we have wind, that's the biggest uh, threat we have because tents obviously have a propensity to take off, uh, but they lash down pretty well. Uh, rain is a consideration, but when you have rain and wind, that's a problem for our, our artists. If this bad weather continues through the day Friday, is there going to be a lot of last minute setup? Yeah, uh, you'll see some of the basic uh, uh, foundation put in, such as the, the uh, structure for tents, but they won't actually put the canvas on it until, especially if it's windy. Moving from inland to the coast, where rain, wind, and surf are all issues, prompting the cancellation of Block Island Ferry Service Thursday. Our camera is capturing the surf in Narragansett. Meanwhile, back in Situate, we ran into a familiar face, meteorologist TJ Del Santo, helping set up a tent in the face of gusty winds. Because of the weather, we can only put the top on. We didn't want to put the sides on yet because we're concerned that the wind will just take it and just put it somewhere where we don't want it. So again, the real concern here, as it is in most spots across the area, is the wind. But again, the volunteers we spoke with here today say regardless of the weather leading into the weekend, they will be ready come Saturday. Reporting live in Situate, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Kim, thanks so much, and you're going to want to keep that phone charged for any updates on our forecast and Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar as well. You can head to our website or download that Pinpoint Weather 12 app.